What's up, sons? It's Blind Drive with Son of a Tech once again, and welcome to episode 23 of Mining Rig Wars. I'm super excited that we've made it this far, and if you guys would like to submit your rig, please email submissions at sonofatech.com or head on over to our website at sonofatech.com and click the submit your rig button. That aside, the winner for the last series of rig wars was Royal Flush. So congratulations, I'll be sending you an email here shortly and we'll discuss which cryptocurrency you would like to receive. I'm also glad to see that Bitcoin is above 7,000 today. So awesome stuff, hopefully it keeps going back up and we, we break this, this downtrend, that would be amazing. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first rig is Rig A. You can vote up here in the corner by clicking the little I button. And then once you do that, you can just select your favorite rig in the poll. This is Bit Sarge by Rodell, and he's rocking 13 MSI Gaming X GTX 1066 gigabytes, two EVGA 1000 watt GQ power supplies, eight gigabytes of memory, and the 7th gen Celeron processor on the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. It is pretty impressive that he has all 13 of the slots on this motherboard filled up and I've done a review for this motherboard which you guys can check out up in the corner. I'll go ahead and link it for you guys. He's using the UUZO desktop PC computer power switch which you probably don't actually need for that motherboard because it does have onboard power and reset buttons. But that aside as well, he has 13 of the version 6 uh, PCIe risers and he's got a SATA to 8 pin PCIe adapter to power the 13th GPU. You wanna be really careful with that, I'll show you why, hold on. So I'm curious if you would have the same issues with the SATA to buy six PCIe, but here is for example, a SATA converter to Molex and it's been, uh, it's been jacked up. We're gonna be doing a video about this. I was running some tests some GPUs are more likely to see this happen. Here's two of them. I have one currently running that it hasn't happened to yet, or a couple of them, and we're gonna talk about why this is happening and so on. And then possibly I would like to test out, you know, on a long-term basis that SATA to eight pin PCIe adapter as well. The total hash rate, you know, I he didn't provide it, but you're gonna be looking at about 23 mega hash per card. So it's gonna be a pretty good rig, getting close to that 300 mega hash range. Next we have Rig B, Narada 3 by Mark. He's rocking four Sapphire R9 290s with the XSPC water blocks and the XSPC EX560 radiator, four Noctua fans, and the XSPC D5 Proton 270 reservoir pump combo, which actually I have one over there going into a build here shortly. And then he has two of the AX 1200 watt power supplies and a Gigabyte GA 990 FXA UD7 AMD uh, motherboard with the uh, 8950 at stock clocks. Well, that's going to be, I want, do, do you have a water block for the CPU as well? I can't tell in the picture. You are rocking one of my favorite cases though. I have it somewhere around here. So. We got, we got, we are uh, Reservoir Pump Brothers as well as Case Brothers. There you go, Pump Brothers. That sounded bad. I, I apologize. He's got the Cooler Master closed loop CPU cooler. So he has it under a separate loop than he has the GPUs on. And I guess if I would have read that further, I would have been able to figure that out. But so I'm not really sure if that Cooler Master is going to keep that 8950 cool for you if you're going to go ahead and try to overclock so keeping it stock is probably necessary and 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance memory. The total hash rate is 121 mega hash a second. Next we have Rig C, poor man's miner. He's running no frame at all or no case or anything like that. He wanted to clarify with the Intel Celeron G3930 processor and ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. 4 gigabytes of crucial memory, the Lexar jump drive USB stick for the operating system, and a Thermaltake 600 watt power supply, 
and two 750 watt platinum server power supplies. So he did go ahead and pick up those server power supplies, probably from Parallel Miner from the way the kit looks to me. Super awesome there. A good, good budget option, clean power, platinum rated. So I, I, I fully support it. And it does look like he's also rocking something like either Hive OS or Simple Mining. Uh, seeing that he doesn't have a full hard drive there. Let us know which OS you're running in the comment section below. He has a total hash rate of 2.3 uh, kilo solutions a second. Kilo solutions a second. I can say that. <laughs> and he's got 32.2 mega hash a second um, on ETH. Next is Rig D, and the name is a little bit odd. It's P4T-GM by Leah and they are rocking the ASRock H81 Pro BTC motherboard and Intel Celeron G1840 processor and 4 gigabytes of memory with a 32 gigabyte flash drive and an 850 watt gold power supply powering 6 polite dual GTX 1060 3 gigabyte cards. It does look like that case is the Genesis mining case so I've seen that one before it's a pretty awesome setup going vertical like that total hash rate is going to be somewhere between 130 and 140 mega hash a second and then finally we have Supcoin who has been uh, part of the community for quite some time Jerry is the owner and I just want to give a shout out and say thanks for you know all the support on the channel he's rocking the ASRock H81 Pro BTC motherboard the Intel Pentium G3250 the ADATA DDR3 8 gigabytes of memory a Corsair Nova series uh, 2 30 gigabyte SSD and a Corsair AX860 a power supply and the 008 risers he has a single EVGA GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte, runs hot and noisy. Look forward to a video here shortly about how we can kind of get that solved. I have a couple EVGA 3 gigabytes that are getting really hot really easy. We're going to talk about how we can kind of, you know, get that solved. But he also has a single gigabyte GeForce GTX 1066 gigabyte, two MSI GeForce GTX 1063 gigabytes, and two gigabyte GeForce GTX 1060 G1 gaming three gigabytes. His total kilohash, <laughs> kilohash, his total hash rate is 1440 solutions a second. Going back through these, I did want to mention Subcoin said that the 008 risers are working fantastic. I had some issues with the Corsair AX860i or just the AX series in general from Corsair that doesn't seem to translate to the CM or any of the lower ones. I'm not sure why, but I've had two of the 860s go out on me and it's been a little frustrating to say the least because they are, uh, they do cost a pretty penny. So let me know how yours is going, how long you've had it. I'm really curious there. And it does appear you have about six GPUs, so you are running that really, really close to its load limit. And I'm curious if you're having any issues. I would definitely recommend grabbing another power supply there though. For Rig D, the frame is awesome. I think if you guys can pick it up and you want to spend the extra money on it, that would be sweet, but of course it's not necessary, so it might be an additional cost that's not worth it depending on you know your current setup. Moving that case into something like a farm later on is going to give you a pretty good use of, of space, so that's kind of the upside to it. The EVGA 850 watt power supply with six of the 1060s is fine as long as, like I said earlier, you're getting a little close to maxing that out. But it's fine if you're being very, very careful with your overclocks and power settings. If you can get those 1060s you know, down to the 80 watt range, you're going to be okay. And so that's kind of my two cents there. For poor man's miner, I think this is a great way to start. There's no reason to spend extra money on a case or a frame if you don't need to. And all of the parts here are solid. We're talking about a good choice of CPU with the G3930, a good choice on the, on the motherboard with plenty of room to upgrade and add additional GPUs to it, and a good choice on the GPUs. Going with the GTX 1070s, those are always gonna be a very solid choice for if you can pick them up closer to retail, of course, which has been an issue recently. And, you know, using those, using that good, clean, uh, cost-effective power with the server power supplies. So, really good build here. 
awesome stuff. I, one of the, my favorite that I've seen uh, that's kind of on the, you know, less flashy side of things. So good job, man. Rig B, like I said earlier, I have the case. I have that pump res combo. I love both of them. It's amazing. Obviously, if you're going to be doing a mining rig, you probably aren't going to want to spend the extra money to water cool because water cooling uh, is going to get pretty expensive. You're talking at least $100 per block. You're talking about another close to $200 for the pump and reservoir and, you know, another $100 for the radiator. And you have to calculate all of that into you know your projected roi i'm assuming because of the the setup here that he is you are most likely mark you you were gaming and then you moved to mining and you wanted to do uh quad quad crossfire r9 290s is, is that how that went that's pretty impressive though i really like the parts choice if we were going to uh, start talking about you know maybe more of a, a gaming PC build or a rendering build or something along that, a blender build. That would be pretty sick. And then finally, BitSarge has a really good frame here. I like the use of space. Everything seems to be able to be in its spot. The cable management is on par, on par, if not some of the best cable management I've seen recently. Just being able to stack all of those GPUs uh, really nice and clean there on that frame is impressive in and of itself. I wouldn't waste the money on the power button because they come on that motherboard, but you know, if it makes it easier for you to reach it, it is what it is. It looks like here because you put it on the corner. I get it, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna be, we're, we're not gonna beat you up over it too much, right? <laughs> and then as far as the processor, it does look like I wanted to clarify, I had to go through the whole part numbers, the G3930, so awesome pick on that. Awesome pick on the motherboard. I am curious how you got all 13 of the GTX 1060s running and if it's stable 24 seven. The only reason I say that is prior to this, it's been kind of hard to get more than eight. Um, and then you would have to, without using the uh, specific mining cards, I'm sure you've got that figured out here. And of course, you're not having to deal with the issues of Windows in this particular case. So thanks for the submission, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure you go ahead and vote with the little I up in the corner. Don't forget we have t-shirts as well as bumper stickers on our website at sonofatech.com slash merch. If you'd like to talk about any of the rigs you saw here, or if you just need help, you know, picking parts for your next rig, or you need help figuring out what coin to mine right now, come on over to our Discord and hang out. We also play games and do a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So I'd be super happy to have you all over there. Please join the Discord. And other than that, I'll see you next Tuesday.